Hi, do you struggle with thyroid issues or suspect you have thyroid issues and also struggle with acid reflux or heartburn? And you may have thought, oh, these things, how can they possibly be related? One's in the thyroid box where I see my primary care doctor or my endocrinologist or whoever I see to manage that. And then the other thing is just a gastrointestinal thing. Maybe I need to go see a GI specialist for that. And when, when in fact these thing, these two things are intimately related. What if I told you that that acid medication that you're taking right now was never designed to be taken long term? In fact, if you read the insert in the pamphlet, you'll you'll see it says, you know, to be taken for two weeks max. It's it's never been designed to to take it long term, and the reason why it's not designed to take it long term is because you actually deplete your stomach acid levels and decrease the acidity of your stomach acid. That's what makes it not burn so much when stomach acid comes back up. But the problem with that is you actually don't digest your food. And so now you have a situation where you're not breaking down and absorbing nutrients. Those are the same nutrients you need to be able to convert thyroid hormone from its inactive form to its active form. You know, the form that makes you feel good, that makes your metabolism healthy, that makes your hair nice, that makes you have some energy. All of those things take a certain set of nutrients like zinc and selenium and iodine and vitamin D and, and all of these vitamins that if you have been perpetually taking a, a medication for your, your heartburn, and your acid reflux, then then you're not absorbing that. And and even if you haven't been taking a medication where you're just having that heartburn, one of the reasons that we have that is because our stomach acid levels are too low. Most people think they have too much stomach acid when in fact the, the reality is that for most people they're getting the heartburn because that stomach acid isn't strong enough to break down and um, chew up the food so it just starts to come back up instead of being broken down and moving through the digestive system. So that's the connection. A lot of people don't understand that there's a connection between those two. So I just wanted to take a minute and um, tell you about that. I have a link um, to my blog article where I, I have a whole lot more detail than that. It's at Thrive CFH dot com thrive cfh dot com um, there's a blog link on there you can check it out and then you can also use that site to reach out to me too if you have any questions about that specific to you and you want me to give you a call and listen and see if I can help okay thanks for watching